Hey there, so FL Studio just released this brand new update which makes chord progressions a lot faster and easier to make. Let me show you how to use it. But first, it's important we know the difference between a chord and a chord progression, okay? So right here we have a chord. The chord is just simply two or more notes playing together at the same time. So let's say I have this. One, two, three, four, five. Rem remember the formula for creating a chord progression most times is the one, three, five formula, okay? So this is a chord. Okay, then the progression is just simply how it sounds when it moves from, you know, a chord to the next. So let's say I create this right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Remember one, three, five. That's the progression, okay? So before now, we have to click it in manually and hear it sounds and if we like it, we keep it. If we don't like it, we try a different thing. And especially if you do not play MIDI keyboards or musical instruments, it may not be easy for you, okay? So this brand new update makes it a lot easier for everyone, whether you play keys or you don't play keys, a lot easier for you to figure out the chord progression that um, you want to play. So let me take this back up here, okay? So the feature is this um, scale, snap to scale feature right here on your piano roll. Once you click it, it's going to lock your notes into the scale, into the one, three, five. So even if you are playing a seventh, for example, one, three, five, seven, it's also going to lock it in and whichever um, chord you choose, you change it to, it's going to stay within the scale, okay? So let me just show you what that actually means, okay? So right here we have this triad right here. Let me just duplicate it. Now, this seems weird, right? This doesn't seem like a proper chord progression because it's just the same thing repeats in over and over again, okay? So if I highlight this with the skill assistance on in FL Studio um, Piano Row, just holding Shift and my down or up arrow key, I could go up or down if I like. So you can see it's going to lock it into the scale. Light gray line, light gray line, light gray line. It doesn't throw it off scale. If I turn it off, see how it looks. You see, this is not in the scale. This is also not in the scale. So it's going to sound off. Here, this side sounds when it's not in the scale. It, sound, it sounds off, right? But when I turn this on, you can hear that right now. It sounds like it's in scale. So I'm going to leave this on and just arrange my chord, just like um, you know, you're moving blocks around. Just highlight all of it using control on your left mouse. Just click and highlight all over it. Or you can use this highlight um, or select button right here and just drag all over it, okay? Then with your pen tool, just hold your shift and your down arrow key or up arrow key. It depends on the direction you want the chords to go. And that's why it's fun. You can literally just move around the way you like. So if you like that chord, you see it's really easy. But if I want to try something else, I could just come down again and see how this sounds. That's also nice. I could just go up. Maybe I feel like going up, right? I don't want to come down. Let's see how this sounds. So let's try this right here. I think I prefer when it's here. So you see, really easy to make, right? You don't have to click each note one by one and, you know, play the notes in. And it works for any key. You can change the key. For example, if I just come right here, come to View, Scale, Highlights, right? I can literally change the key I want to play into. If maybe this is not highlighted or you can't select anything, make sure you select major or minor skill that you want to play in. Then you can then come here again and then change the notes. Okay, so let's say I want to play it in uh, the key of um, F sharp. I don't play F sharp, for example, right? So if I, now if you observe, they are all not in the skill, right? They're all, some look like they're off. Like this guy right here looks like it's off. Looks like it's off, looks like it's off. So if I just highlight it and I move it down a bit, it's going to lock it into the scale automatically. You can see that now it's locked into the scale. See, now it's locked into the scale. Same thing with this guy. Same thing right here. I can also move it down. It's going to be locked into the scale as well.
let's see. Then let's also play with the velocity that it sounds, you know, a bit softer. This is optional, by the way. Alternate and X. So you can see I don't even play on F sharp major or any or many other keys, right? I just change the key and I just move it around and you know I got my chords progression instantly, right? So this tool is pretty easy to make chord progressions, okay? So let me know, will you be trying this out and using this in your process or you still prefer the old clicking method? Let me know in the comments and I'll be responding. If you found this helpful, like and follow for more. Cheers.